trailer just came out for Poppy Playtime Chapter 3. Poopy Playtime? No! Okay. Hey guys, it's Kat, and today we're going to be reacting to the new Poppy Playtime Chapter 3 trailer. Hey, I want to see Kiss and Missy! No way, Zon! Okay, okay. So this is actually the second teaser trailer that they posted, and we're going to be reacting to it, and then we're going to be analyzing it to see if there's any secrets that we can find. Okay, let's watch. Oh, wait. Fire? What is that? Is that a... A toy being burnt? This looks like, oh, play care. Oh my gosh, I remember this. We ended at the play care in chapter one. No, chapter two, sorry. Whoa, that's creepy. This looks so creepy. I don't like this. <gasps> is that Huggy Wuggy? Where's his head? Oh my gosh. Is that a child? Whoa, time for bed. Oh, is that a new monster? Whoa. Ooh, wait, is that phone from, that looks like it's from Project Playtime. Whoa. What? The original saved me. <gasps> Did you see that? Something moved. I live to serve our angel of salvation. Okay, we got candles, more scratch marks. No, that's Huggy Wuggy's head. Oh, is that? That's the experiment, right? Whoa, there's so many words. Oh my gosh. Whoa, there's a claw there. <gasps> what is that? Oh my God. Oh, it's breathing. Something. Oh! Ooh, chapter three. Deep sleep. Whoa, this is gonna look so epic. Is there a release date? Please be a release date. Winter 2023? No, that's so long. I don't wanna wait. Oh my gosh, that was such a creepy trailer. Damn. Okay, let's go deep dive into this whole shebang. Oh, we should also like this video and you guys should like my video if you wanna watch me play Poppy Playtime Chapter 3. Mob Entertainment is known for leaving Easter eggs in their trailers. So why don't we go second by second and see what we can find. Okay, second one, second. Oh, wait, did you see that? There's something here. I got it. What is this? Oh, wait, is this the gas mask? Wait, hold on. Let me look it up. Oh, okay. This is the gas mask from the first teaser trailer, right? They look the same. Yeah, we got the big goggles here and the mouth. What's this? I can't really like picture this. I feel like the gas mask is definitely gonna be one of the main mechanics, just like the grab pack that we had in chapter one and chapter two. So that's kind of interesting. Next, we got fire. Is there anything here? It looks like there's something burning here. Why does it look like an acorn? I'm not very familiar with all the monsters because I haven't played Project Playtime, but if you guys know who this character is, please comment down below. I have no idea who it is. That's very interesting. So this scene looks like it's taking place maybe at the play care because that's where we left off. We left off at the train station. Hmm. Oh wait, is this a train? Wait, maybe this is the train. It looks like there's nothing else. Okay, so this, yeah, this is the play care. The graphics go crazy in this one. I'm really excited to play this. If this is the quality that we're getting, I don't mind waiting until winter 2023. There's definitely like some lights blinking in the back. It could be like the fire. And then here we have just a creepy room. It literally looks straight out of a horror movie. We have some chairs here. It kind of looks like a dining table. The ceiling is broken up here. Wait, I'm gonna play this and see if anything pops up on the ceiling. Nothing pops up on the ceiling. Yeah. And it's just foggy hallway. There's scratch marks here. The entity or monster or whatever looks to be some kind of animal with claws? Could it be a cat? Oh, you know what I'm thinking? Well, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. When we see the when we see the monster, we will get to that. This part is interesting. We have Huggy Wuggy's head just completely decapitated. There's another toy here with its head cut off as well. This maybe this monster likes to cut their heads off, cut all the little monsters' heads off. And we know it's the monster because you can see here there's a little bit of like claw marks maybe from it scratching and like pulling its head off. That's crazy. That is so gory, oh my god. And then this part looks so terrifying to me. What is this? Little human-esque person child. It looks like a child. Their eyes are blackened out. They look really depressed. And then we have the heads of these little guys are also blacked out. Probably symbolizing that they've been 
you know? Who is this? This looks kind of like a red Bunzo Bunny. I'm not sure. It kind of has like cat claws though. I don't know. Oh, and then there's, okay, there's claw marks here. Yeah, that's, that's terrifying. We got children's drawing here. There's the moon. I'm assuming this is the sun. And then I guess this is the monster. It looks like a bird from this photo, but I don't think it's a bird. Does it have like fur? Could it be an owl? No. There's like children up here as well. Maybe this monster or entity or whatever it is saved the children and took them into the play care to like keep them safe from the experimenters and the scientists and stuff. It says time for bed. Oh, and the chapter is called deep sleep. Maybe, maybe it's like a sleeping gas. Oh, and that's why we need the gas mask so we don't fall asleep. Ooh, they look like they're friends with the monster because the monster is holding the kids here too. And then we have the phone here and then we got claw marks everywhere. Maybe someone was calling for help and they were like, hey, I need help. And then the monster got them and then they dropped the phone. <laughs> that's just a theory. Did they say anything? Wait. It's like on the phone, it like sounds like someone's speaking on the other end, but I can't make out what it's saying. Huh, I heard something, but I can't really decipher what it's saying. Here it says, the original saved me, I rejoice in him. It feels like these kids actually worship the monster. Maybe because the monster saved them, they are like in debt to him. Oh, and then the heads of these guys are also cut off. This looks like uh, the cat from chapter two. What was the name? Candy cat. And we got a bunny here. I think that's Bunzo. Bunzo bunny. And they have like daisies all over the paintings. Hmm. And there's a shadow here that moves. That could be the monster that we're going to be seeing in chapter three like stalking us and watching us. Ooh, that gives me goosebumps. Okay, my first reaction to this was, it's gonna be very different from chapter two and chapter one for sure. I feel like it's leaning towards like the horror aspect more, which is actually gonna be terrifying. I am so afraid of horror games, but I still play them. This note says, my new friend. And I guess, is this? This looks like a kid. Maybe it's a kid. It kind of looks like a bunny. I'm not sure what that is. And then we have like this purple thing and it's huge. Okay, so I guess they worship this thing. Just like mommy and daddy before they left me. Aww, wait, that's so sad. So it's this kid crying and then, yeah, they definitely like the monster. So the kids like the monster. They probably are worshiping it, praising it. This note kind of contradicts what I just said. He gives me nightmares. So are the kids afraid of the monster? That doesn't make sense. So I guess like half the kids are afraid and half the kids maybe are not afraid and worship this angel of salvation. Look, it has a, this kid is holding a sword. He's trying to fight it. And I guess maybe he comes out at night because there's a moon. And I can hear like kids crying. Oh my gosh, that is so terrifying. Here we have candles. It looks like some kind of like spiritual ritual thing when you're like summoning a demon. Oh my gosh, this gives me goosebumps. I'm so scared. And I just hear like murmuring and talking. Okay, back to what I was saying about the heads getting decapitated. Huggy Wuggy is gone. Huggy Wuggy's head is just ripped apart and just on a stick and actually a lot of people do this well, not a lot of people i hope not <laughs> some people collect heads for like sport and i'm assuming that this monster actually just collects a bunch of heads for fun this is definitely huggy wuggy and this i think might be the prototype there's mommy long legs this is mommy long legs it's gotta be look at the the wiggles that's huggy wuggy's head this looks like a grab pack remember at the end of chapter two mommy says And clearly these guys have met their end and they are part of the experiment. I don't know if this is the experiment or maybe it's just like the trophy case of the monster that we're gonna face. Who knows? Okay, here we have some words. There was a lot of words, I could not read all of them. So we have followers of the path, the path being maybe the monster's goal. They want to worship and follow whatever the monster wants to do. What does this say? Does that say you trap? trapped us in garlands? I don't know what that means. What is garlands? And then it says here, my somniferous 
flock. If you don't know what that means, it means to induce sleep. And that means my sleeping flock. The flock represents the children. They're like the sheep, the flock of sheep that worship the monster. That's what I'm getting at from that. So I think, I think that's what it means. Never forget the hour of uh, joy. Never forget the hour of joy. What is the hour of joy? I don't know. Okay. And then that part was so sick. I loved how the transition from like, that was so cool. We got eyes here and then some, we can't really see the face. Oh my gosh, guys, guys. I feel like maybe this monster can put us to sleep, which is why it's like breathing like gas right here and it's sleeping gas. Then it starts screaming at us like a maniac. Thank you. Guys, it's gotta be a bear because one, it's coming out in winter 2023. What happens in winter? Bears go hibernate in the winter and they come back in the spring. Two, it has claws. Look at the claws. Let me just go back to where the claws are. Do you see these claws? That screams bear. Maybe it's like a giant teddy bear. Bear, a big purple teddy bear that's like fun and cuddly and friendly. Yeah, and it's in the daycare because teddy bears are comforting. Maybe it was like initially meant for comfort, to comfort the kids, but then it turned on them and became evil and just, oh my gosh, and bears are really good hunters, which is why the heads are cut off. Oh my gosh, I'm onto something. And it's called deep sleep. That makes so much sense. This is gonna be a crazy chapter. I can feel it. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. And guys, this is all on Mob Entertainment's channel. I will link it in the description so you guys can watch it yourselves if you haven't already. And make sure to subscribe to watch me play Poppy Playtime Chapter 3.